Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th, Monday through Thursday. Now, you know I'm going to be using some cards. Now, I'm going to be using my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I will go ahead and pull one from my Radley Valentine Guardian Angels. I will also pull from my Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Now for the overview, for the overview in the introduction, we're going to do a little bit different now. We are going to use a actually something that I have not used in several, several years, and I just felt like these cards wanted to come out. We'll see. This is called the Good Tarot, and it's by Colette Baron reed Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do a three-card spread with those cards. And then I will pull one from my Radley Valentine Angel decks. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? And one of the reasons that I don't use, well, I, that when I, when I first uh, bought the Good Tarot, um, it's very kind. It's very sweet. It's a little, it was a little bit on the sugary sweet side. But it just felt that, um, like I said, so I, I put them away, but just felt like I needed to use them for this week. Maybe we need a little sugar this week. How's that? Okay. Now, I am an intuitive channeler, if I didn't tell you that already. I open myself through prayer, through meditation, to higher power, and just let whatever the message is that needs to come through. And again, I do not need to know totally the um you know, what the reason is for what I've, what's coming through. Uh, sometimes I want to know. Sometimes it sounds really, really interesting. So I do ask you to comment and let me know uh, if this resonates for you. Also, to take a moment, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications because you help me, you know, you keep me, you keep me on air. So let's go. I just feel like they need a really good, good shuffle. And here we go. Let's go ahead and we're going to cut. I generally cut three times, and again, anything that is reversed has stronger energy, and let's see what we have with the good tarot. Now, it may be something that I incorporate into my longer readings, maybe not, or I mean into my main readings. We will see. Here we go. First card is the Empress. The Empress. Now, the Empress... Um, and it's quite a beautiful deck. I, you know, the Empress is a number three. It is a major arcana. It's, you know, it is, um, you know, this would be Archangel Gabriel in any of my Radley Valentine angel decks. You know, so divine messages. There is also the divine, I, I feel this has a divine higher power energy. It's a divine feminine power. There's a lot of caring. There's a lot of giving. There's a lot of... Um, just providing so there i do feel like the empress has that supernatural um energy that will be you know that will provide will bring provision okay but it's also there's also a mystery to this empress i'm not quite sure it's just uh i'm just getting there's a mystery it's kind of like the um you know the mystery dating or the mystery you know what's behind door number three door number one door number two type, you know, I just feel like there's a mystery coming. And with the mystery, it's something is being revealed. It's like the door will open and the mystery will be revealed. Remember, threes, creativity, creation, um, also, um, well, creativity, um, celebration, and also there is a strong power in the number three. You say something, do something three times, but I do feel it's a mystery, a mystery being revealed. Okay, next card is nine of earth so nine of earth that would be our nine of pentacles that would be our nine of of um well earth and also our nine of ariel okay that is our earth energy it is capricorn which we have a lot of capricorn going on right now it would also be our taurus it would also be our virgo energy there is, again, a provision with this energy here. There is things coming. There is, you know, this is money energy. It is very tangible energy. So I'm getting kind of, I'm getting a couple of things. I'm getting provision coming and also a mystery being revealed with this. Now, it's interesting because if you look at her, 
she's got a mask on of some sort. So she is hidden. So there is something hidden here. And, and again, the Empress, I feel, is going to be revealing this. Okay, let's go on here. Next card, the Nine of Water. Now, the, so we have the two nines. Remember, numbers are very, very important. Nine, so we have a three, nine, nine energy going on, or nine, nine, three. Um, nines have a, let's wrap it up, we've got everything we need. Now, the Nine of Water is, is the Nine of Cups. It's the Nine of Raphael. It is very much the wish card. It's things being, things, you know, things that you've been waiting for, that you've been wanting. This is, you know, make a wish. Now, we do have that new moon on the 4th, and so the 5th and the 6th will have some of that new moon energy. Actually, you know, it will have a lot of that new moon energy because it is waxing. So this is a time for you to make some wishes, put it out there. Again, I get the provision. There's, I get provision. I get, um, it is, there is something hidden that will be revealed. Uh, remember, there's something going on with Saturn. We're not quite there yet, but Saturn and Uranus and, and, you know, and Uranus is that expect the unexpected. We're not quite there yet, but Saturn in Aquarius is reality versus illusion. So things, things coming out more and more. But this is, again, the Nine of Water, a lovely card. Um, you know, the mermaid has, you know, beautiful, has beautiful treasures. And she looks very, very happy with what she is receiving. Okay, let's go on and see now. So, you know, let me know. Uh, these cards, I mean, they're, they're, the graphics are quite, quite beautiful. Um, again, this Nine of Earth, again, it does feel provision, but it does feel like it's, it's kind of hidden. It's hidden energy and it's, um, you know, earth energy. It's hidden, but it's, again, she is revealing. The empress is revealing what is hidden. And the wish card, hey, make a wish, make a wish. Okay, let's use these now, my angel tarot cards. We're going to just pull one and see how this core, you know, correlates with, with these cards. Here we go. Okay. These two, though, you know, while this is very loving and very, oh my gosh, I've got it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And remember always when wishes come true, say a little thank you. There is a little bit of um, staidness here, S-T-A-I-D. You know, kind of this, this sense of, um, you know, there's not a lot of, there's, there's a very, it's a very blank. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait. Not getting excited about it just yet, but it's coming so there, there is a sense of standing still with this energy coming through. But the water, the nine of water is just so like, oh, it's what I wanted. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go on with my angel tarot cards. This one is reversed. The nine of fire. So you've got a lot of nine energy here. You had your earth energy, your water energy, and now you have your fire energy. And again, it's still the nine. So we have the nine, nine, nine. We have the three. And fire energy is our, um, again, it's our fire energy. It is our, um, it is our, uh, oh my goodness, our rods and our wand energy. Um, it is also our, is it our Gabriel? So let me hold on a second. Michael, no, no, Michael is air. Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Uriel energy, right? Uriel in the other cards. Oh my goodness. But the nine of fire says stand firm. And again, that's kind of where I was with these. It's like, don't get real, you know, don't, don't, it's, it's just, there's just a sense of don't do anything right now. Let it come. And then the nine of fire, you know, I love her. She is the, um, she is the, you know, the, the dragon slayer or the dragon tamer. And she has a lot, a lot of confidence. So again, there is that stay firm energy, do not give up type of energy, wishes do come true energy. Don't give up, protect that which you've created, have courage and believe in yourself. So we are gonna, um, you know, if you've noticed, I've been posting the introductions separately, plus I've been adding them into the readings, but I also give you the, the marker so that you can go straight to that. Um, you know, I hope that you've liked that. And again, too, remember, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. So why don't we start our readings now? Hello, my Leos. How are you? Well, feel like things are moving for you. Um, 
there's some stuff going on in December with, uh, you know, how Uranus and Taurus, there's some stuff kind of breaking some of that energy, not the Taurus, Uranus, but with the Saturn um, going on. I, and then Uranus, I think in January, will be going direct again. So I do think that this is the time for some, um, maybe some stability. Do I dare say that in job money? Um, I think that this is a time where things can, you know, possibly bank accounts can grow. Okay, now, is it going to happen this week? I don't know, but I feel like we can come into that time. Um, I would say maybe more so into December and January. Let's put it out there. I like that. Okay, let's see what we have here for my Leos. First card is Nine of Gabriel. The Nine of Gabriel is the same as the Nine of Fire that's in the introduction. So it's really, I think that you need to kind of take a look at what that is. Fire energy is our Leo, it's our Sagittarius, it's also our Aries. It's really saying don't give up. I know, you know, remember I talk about, I haven't done it for a while, but I talk about that miner and he worked his mind for a good 10 years and then he said I, that enough is enough, sells it. And he was like, what, 21 inches away from a big silver strike. Some people say that was Levi Strauss, so he did get his, you know, he did, he did come out okay at the end. Yeah, anyway, but don't give up. It's like it's so close, you can almost taste it, things are happening, but don't give up. Okay, so stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. Next card, reversed. The lovers. So now we have a nine, we have a six. Six is the number of man. It's the energies that we put into our, into whatever it is that we want to put it into. This is Archangel Raphael. Raphael brings about a lot of healing mentally, spiritually. I feel like there is some connections happening in your relationship energies. Now, it could, relationships could be your work, your job, your career. I do feel this has a little more personal, uh, personal. So this could be your um, love life, it could be romantic, intimate, or also it could be family. I do feel like there is a uh, a very strong, you know, again, I'm feeling that blossoming energy. I think I said this in the, um, you know, in the introduction. I feel this very blossoming, possibly new relationship, new intimate, new romance type of thing going, happening around you. Or a reconnection with an older re relationship or an existing relationship blossoming and becoming better and there could be a lot of healing also with this so i feel that the lovers is is a growing energy here i feel that it's a very positive energy because i don't always feel that with the lovers. sometimes the lover is like oh my goodness but this i feel it's like things are moving forward again i know we always want to say for i say forward but things are changing things are happening at the stagnant the fallow period we just we might have just a little bit longer to go but i just feel like we're about to break surface break ground however you want to put that okay but it says make choices from your heart deeply emotional commitments the power of love and i got you know i do get if you love what you do you know it, it will never be considered work okay next card is the high priestess so we have a nine six two sometimes it could be a two six nine Twos are choices, connections. You know, do I go this way? Do I go that way? But it's also coming together. There is a lot of um, intuition. There is a lot of stepping into the place. You know, this could be something for you, my Leos, that maybe, you know, that you need to really be listening to your higher power. You need to be listening um, to, you know, you need to be reaching out and at the same time listening. A lot of times we do a lot of reaching out, but we don't necessarily do the listening. And this is a good time for you to do the listening. Um, you know, so take a few moments. Take, you know, you can do it. You don't have to take it long. Turn off the radio in the car. I'm not telling you to meditate in the car because no crashes. But, you know, I do a lot of talking in the car too. But then take some time to listen. It's a good time to listen this week. Okay. So Archangel. So that was Archangel Raphael. This is Archangel Heniel. Powerful Psychic Insights. Reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. I do like this for you. Be at peace. So this is a time, even though you might be feeling like you're pushing forward between the lover's card and the, um, 
you know, uh, basically the power of love and be at peace. Be at peace. So just, you know, chill. Be chill. This is a chill week for you. Let, you know, just kind of, okay, we're going to go with that flow. But let's see what we have with the guardian angels now. Let's see what we have here. Yes, but let's, ah, okay. We have a bunch of cards that fell. Hold on a second while I pull, while I see what we've got here. Okay, okay, let's see what we've got here. Now, okay, we've got a bunch of cards that fell here. And we're just going to, we're not going to read them per se, but I will take a, you know, when they fall, they fall. So we will go through here. So we have the eight of action. You know, action is fire energy saying there is, you know, eight unlimited opportunities and possibilities. There's a lot going on. It may feel very overwhelming. Remember, this is the time to take a chill pill, not a real pill, but just to kind of, again, connect with your higher power. Here we go. The messenger of thought, that would be the page of air. And there is something coming. There's something in the wind. There is something in the wind coming for you. There is the three of thought, which is also the three of air. Let things go. Time to heal. Time to move on. Seven of emotions. You need to make some decisions. Seeing clearly, it's time for you to look at things with the reality, but not necessarily with how, you, not romantically. You need to see things with in reality, okay? Then we go into the healer of action, which is would have been the queen of, of fire, and we will read this. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once, hence the, um, you know, the aid of action, being very overwhelming week. Um, you won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which it could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. Now, the thing about this card, this is one of the major arcana, so you actually have three major arcanas. And this is a 12. So it's time, this would be the hanged man. It's time to, to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry. The pause in moment, momentum, which is what I think this is. I think this is a little pause. It's a time for you again. Time to listen. Okay. Um, the pause in momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Okay? Okay. So, again, this is going to be a week where you just kind of kind of bring it down. You know, you're going to feel, there's going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to kind of want to jump into. It's like, oh, I can fix this. I can fix this. No, no, no. Step back. You know, kind of step out of the drama. Listen. It's time. It's a good, this is a week to listen. Okay? So let's see what crystal or energy, because things are about to pop. Now, you know, I don't necessarily mean this week, but it's, it's getting closer. It's getting closer and closer. And let's hope that it's going to be, because we're coming up to 2022. So let's hope that we've got, all, you know, with all that two energies. So let, let's hope that, uh, you know, towards the end of December to, to January. Okay, let's go on here. What crystal or energy would be helpful for my Leos? Reversed, Aragon star clusters. Okay, grounding, stress relief. I'm sorry, earth healing, grounding, stress relief, vitality. So, you know, if you're feeling a little tired because that eight of um, action kind of gives you that, you know, the, the, the nine of Gabriel and the eight of action is kind of like, oh, I am a little bit on the tired side. The lovers also, besides, you know, connecting also is some healing energy. And again, that high priestess, very instinctive, very intuitive energy, very psychic insights. But again, it's a time that says stop doing so much. Silence yourself. Listen. Okay, I keep getting the listening. I know. I need to do that too. Anyway, my Leos, 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 take a moment, like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. As always, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed.
Bye-bye.